What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing my first gameplay on my PC account. So I've been playing a little bit on this account and I did open up a bunch of these packs for the multi-dimensional set and I managed to complete the set. So basically in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be comparing the J or Smith card, who is the reward, to what I believe is one of the best cheap two guards in the game. The two guard is, in my opinion, the weakest overall position. I don't think there's that many great two guards in the game. However, for really cheap, there is one card that is quite, quite good, and that's Danny Ainge. So I'm going to be pairing the two of these guys. So this is going to be, I don't know, let's just say, it's, it'll probably take an average of about a million VC, there or thereabouts. I think if you opened a million VC, you would get, you'd get all these cards. Or not, actually maybe 450k VC. So that's about $100. And Danny Ainge, you're either getting Danny Ainge in your first pack or you're um, being able to sell one of the lower tier players and get Danny Ainge for the exact same price as all of them. So this is going to be the $100 shooting guard versus the $1 shooting guard. So yeah, we are going to be comparing both of these guys and we are also going to be doing some gameplay. I'm going to be doing it in triple threat because that seems to be what most people are playing. It seems to be more people playing Triple Threat than playing my team Unlimited. And I definitely, definitely could do it on Unlimited. Um, I just think that for now anyway, it is easier to do it in Triple Threat because that seems to be what most people are focusing on right now. These type of videos, these comparison videos will be definitely done in Unlimited in the future. It's just for this one right here, I think that at this stage of the game, Triple Threat Online, Offline are the more rewarding game modes. So I'm going to compare them to how they're using that game mode and also you can kind of get a better feel for how an individual player is in them type of games so anyway yeah now let's go on to the stats of these two players and let's compare them so they are both two guards jr smith is two inches taller 94 87 and 89 76 so obviously stats wise jr smith is going to be better hall of fame badges they are jr smith has got catch and shoot hall of fame volume shooter hall of fame difficult shots hall of fame tire to score hall of fame showtime hall of fame and fast free finish hall of fame why does he not have the J.R. Smith badge Hall of Fame? The steady shooter. The one that makes you shoot better contests than you do open. And he's literally was known as the J.R. Smith badge for a while. He has got gold range extender. He's got threat, uh, needle threader, quick draw, gold, space creator, stop and go. He's got dead eye, flexible release, green machine, hot zone hunter, hot start, ice in his veins. But, but fortunately, maybe, he does not have any of the like super, super overpowered badges like the speed boosting badges. Danny Ainge has got gold catch and shoot corner specialist, clutch shooter, volume shooter, slippery off ball, um, steady shooter and tired of score and silver dead eye. So they are not bad shooting badges at all. So 86 mid range shot, Danny Ainge is 99. Danny Ainge is a one better three point shot. Free throw, Danny Ainge is significantly better. But again, free throw is not the be all and end all of most cards. Driving dunk is obviously where J.R. Smith has the huge advantage. His is 85 compared to Danny Ainge's 90. A big reason why I took Danny Ainge is because it'd be hard to compare J.R. Smith to, card, to a uh, two guy that can't handle the ball, whereas Danny Ainge can. Danny Ainge a better passer, ball handling the exact same. Perimeter defense, J.R. Smith that a little bit better. Rebounding the same. Speed, J.R. Smith is obviously faster, but Danny Ainge isn't slow either. Lateral quickness, J.R. Smith by nine and obviously defensive stats he's that little bit better as well so yeah that is these two cards tennessee's 100 driving dunk is good and as the only tennessee i think that really makes too much of a difference but to be honest stats are only one thing badges are only one thing we need to see how these guys play in game before we can give like an accurate assessment of how they are so now let's get into the triple track game so the players we are going to be using with them, we're going to be putting in Carl Anthony Towns, and we are also going to be putting in the LeBron James card. So we got a big man, and we also have got a guy that can probably guard any other player, with both of these guys playing as the point guard or primary ball handler. So anyway, yeah, this is the team we're running with, and now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against not a great team here. We should have a big advantage. J.R. Smith, that is a bit of a contest. Green in his face. Let's go. That is so fast, that release. And that release is super, super fast. Job to JR. One word, six letters, leaner. Ooh, that's nice. There's a full white though, so it's never going in, but yeah, I think I can shoot some leaners with him. Got him. Leaner, decent release. Okay, full white still don't go in at all. 
Or maybe he's at full white. It's like blue and red shot meter. I'm going to have to change it after this game. But like it's so hard for me to see that. J.R. Smith on the break. He's got the speed. Off the bounce through the legs. Dunk. Let's go. He's got nine so far. He jumped on that. In the corner. Leaner. Come on. One of these got to go in. There we go. We out here shooting leaners. Like at this stage in the game, the ability to shoot the fadeaway leaning jump shots literally doesn't matter. Like it does not matter at all. It's just the kind of thing I like to do when I can. I might as well take them. Oh, step back. That's a good contest, I think. Nope, apparently not. J.R. Smith from near triple threat half court. Which is still from at least gold limitless range. Oh, pull up. Bad release. It doesn't matter. J.R. Smith with the deep leaner right there. I kind of like no dual takeover for, in a way this year, to be honest. I know a lot of people don't like it. And Ben Wallace is terrible. He's been out rebounded like three times. One word. Actually, no, I'm not going to end that leaner. Not a good shot. Okay, he banked that one in Ben Wallace's face. Like, he's been out rebounded by Cat a few times. He is really not great. Height means more than anything else in this game for big men. Like, whatever about little guys you can dunk on everybody. Like, if you're a big man, okay, you know what we're ending this on. One word, six letters, leaner, green light, let's go. What a win right there. Why is the ball drop so much? This is the speed the ball drop should be at. It is so much faster on PC. Like, this is the speed that the ball drop should be at on console. Like, why? There is no reason why the ball drop should be so slow on console. This is the speed it should be at. This is the speed the ball drop should literally be at. Not the, like, anti-gravity ball drop from console. Okay, so now we are going to put in Danny Ainge, and hopefully we play a team of a similar standard, but it's going to be tough for Danny Ainge to live up to that. Alright, so we're playing as Derek Rose, Clay, and Shaq. Rose is a tougher matchup, but sure, look, it's not the worst. Could be a lot worse. Could be the Ruby Rose, it could be someone much different, but it's going to be a little bit tougher to get shots with him, and I don't think I'm going to be out here shooting. Actually, you never know. You never know. I might end up shooting, shooting some laners. That is a bad shot by Clay. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm colorblind, and my shot meter color literally looks like uh, I can barely see it moving. Ooh, Ainge's release is nice, though. His release is nice. Ainge right back at him with a three-point shot. Okay, he doesn't have range extender, I don't think. But it doesn't matter. Danny Ainge still hits the snatchback three in his face. Good shot there by Clay. Alright, so we are down big in this game. Playing a guy who can play the game a little bit, and also has a significantly better team. Okay, you burn them. Right to the basket. Danny Ainge. Great layup. Danny Ainge is still really good. Force him back into the screen. There we go. Wide open three. Come on. These are all nearly greens. Set the screen. Set the screen. Okay, he's left them way too wide open there. That's another full white. And that is good. I re like, like I, re know, I knew I really needed a three-pointer in that possession to have really much of a chance. So, let's go. Take a leaner. Decent release. There we go. Great shot there by Ainge. Both these guys out here hitting leaners. Okay, stepped under it. Full white. Get in, get in. Come on, Ainge. <laughs> sorry, it's alright. Good defense, LeBron. Let's go, let's push it. Hit Ainge. Leaner. Decent release. Good, let's go. One point lead. And he's got takeover. So they need they need to end this on a three. They actually do need to end this on a three. Otherwise, we should have this game. We get over that. Yeah. He jabs him in the screen. That's good. It's a bad release. Go get it. Go get it, LeBron. Go, Ainge. Oh, right to the basket. They're not stopping him. Danny Ainge wins it by himself. Let's go. So anyway, that is the video. Both of these guys are fairly, fairly good two guards. And both of them, like, Danny Ainge would be good as a point guard. I wouldn't necessarily play J.R. Smith the three. But both of them are really good. Like, Danny Ainge. Like, this guy... He was the more surprising of the two because I knew he was going to be good. Did not think he was going to be this good. I didn't think he, I was going to be, this is even going to be a contest because J.R. Smith is incredible. Like, absolutely incredible. So, I didn't think this was even going to be a contest. And to be honest, it was close. Like, this was not an easy one to choose from. It's like, do I go for one of the best cheap cards in the game or do I go for what is arguably the best card in the game, period, right now? If you're looking at any of the token rewards, so pack market, token rewards, 
You're looking at the diamond ones. Like, I've, he's better than Chris Mullen. He's better than Mitch Richmond. I've used both of them cards. Um, in the pink diamond tier. He's better than... He's probably better than all the guards in the pink diamond tier. Diamond rewards. Koozie's a different type of player. Koozie's a beast. But he's probably better at wing than all the diamond rewards. And if you're going for these type of cards, it's going to cost you a lot more than 350 KMT to get them. So, if you're set on spending your MT, go get J.R. Smith. I would still advise you to save all your MT until at least Christmas, when they start releasing diamonds and pink diamonds in packs. But if you are going to spend your MT, it is much better option going for J.R. Smith than trying to complete all the collections to get tokens to get like to like the amethyst tier right now just wait until silvers are really cheap in like january february then you complete the collections but anyway yeah that is the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe